Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this lesson is on equivalent fractions and decimals. This is lesson 9.3. So I understand you guys are getting close to uh, your state testing. I don't know if they're going to call it star testing anymore or common core testing. So, so do your best, you guys. Try to relax and just do your best. Make your teacher proud. Make me proud, too. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this here. So speaking of common core, our common core strand is, um, is right there. So this lesson allows us to understand... Uh, decimal notation uh, for fractions and compare decimals and fractions. So we're going to be changing fractions to decimals and decimals back to fractions and equivalent fractions and equivalent decimals. So how can we record hundreds as fractions and decimals? All right. So here's a uh, recall when you're multiplying fractions, you guys, you multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom when you're multiplying them. So three times two is six, five times two is ten. If I took that three fifths and multiplied it by three over three, three times three is nine, five times three is fifteen. Times four over four, I get twelve over twenty. See, and what I'm doing is these red numbers is uh, they're just one, you guys. So what I'm doing is just multiplying them times one. So even all the way over to three over five times twenty over twenty, that's still one. Three times twenty is sixty. Five times twenty is one hundred. So what's happening is because we're multiplying everything by one, they end up being equivalent fractions. Because when you multiply by one, it doesn't change the value. It just might change the looks of it. I tell my students it's giving it a facelift. It's still the same person inside. It's just giving it a facelift. So we're giving these fractions a facelift by multiplying them by one. Okay. So since they're all equal to each other, that means that uh, three fifths will equal six tenths, or nine fifteenths, or twelve twentieths, and so on and so on, all the way to sixty one hundredths. So all these. Um, uh, this three fifths equals all these blue fractions right here because we multiplied them by the red one all the time. Okay, we're going to be using that principle a lot. We're going to be multiplying by one and dividing by one, uh, and it's going to give us equivalent fractions. Okay, here we go. Uh, Gilbert spent a day hiking through a math wildlife preserve. Wow, doesn't that sound fun, you guys? Go over there and see some square roots and stuff. Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> During the first hour of the hike, he drank six-tenths liter of water. How many hundredths of liter did he drink? Okay, so let's go ahead and underline what we need to find out. So we need to find out how many hundredths of a liter did he drink if he drank six-tenths of a liter. Okay, so how can we uh, represent hundredths? Well, we can represent hundredths in both uh, as a fraction or as a decimal, okay? We've kind of done this before. So let's go ahead and do this uh, two ways as a fraction, you guys. One way is to write uh, 6 tenths as the equivalent fraction with denominators of 100. Okay, so here, um, this, is, this unit right here equals this unit. They have the same area right here, except this unit is divided up into 10 equal spaces, and this unit is divided up into 100 equal spaces. So one of these tens right here equals 10 of these hundreds right here. Okay, so this, this little guy says 1 tenth. This guy over here says 10 one hundredths. So they're the same, you guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is shade in 6 of the 10 right here. When I shade in 6 of the 10, just think of, just go over 6 columns right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do you guys know how to count by 10s? Because we're doing them by 10s. It's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm going to shade the same amount, except on the one, it's going to be, this is 6 tenths. On this one, this is uh, 60 one hundredths. Okay? All right. And then over here, uh, what we can do is that what I've shown you before, you guys, is we can multiply this by 1, except my 1 is going to get me 100 in the denominator. So 10 times what number is going to get me 100? Well, you guys know that. It's 10. So my 1 is going to be 10 over 10. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 10 on the top, 10 times 10 on the bottom, and that's going to still get me 60 over 100. So 60 hundredths, that's how you would say this. You would say this as 60 hundredths, okay? That's one way, you guys. Another way is to write 6 tenths as a decimal. So here's my decimal notation right here. We're going to go ahead and, th and think 6 tenths is the same as uh, 6 tenths and 0 one hundredths. Okay, so I'm going to put, uh, there's no 1, so there's a 0 there, and the decimal goes here. 6 goes right here, and there's no hundredths, so I'm going to put a 0, 0 hundredths right there. Okay, so there it is right there. So uh, 6 tenths is the same as, and then since this ends in the hundredths spot, then we're going to say 60 hundredths. Okay, so 
so that we can say it like that also. So Gilbert drank uh, two ways to say 60 hundredths. You can say it like this, 60 hundredths, or you can say it like this. This ends in the hundredth spot, so 60 hundredths, okay? Uh, a lot of uh, my Algebra 1 kids, they like to say 0.6, and they forget about that right there. But, you know, if it's asking you to write it in the hundredths spot, you got to end it in the hundredths spot, so add a zero to it. So this says 60 hundredths, just like this says 60 hundredths right there, okay? So if he drank six-tenths uh, of a liter of water, then he drank 60 hundredths of a liter of water. It's the same amount, okay? Explain why six-tenths is equivalent to 60 hundredths. Well, let me go back to this right here. Where is that? So here's six-tenths right here and 60 one-hundredths. Well, because one-tenth over here equals 10 one-hundredths right here, then six-tenths is going to equal 60 one-hundredths right there. So that's basically what we're going to say is that right there. So uh, there are 10 one-hundredths in one-tenth, so there's going to be six, um, 60 hundredths in six of those 10. Okay, uh, and then explain how uh, we can write, uh, uh, this says uh, 0.2, which is 2 tenths, because it ends in the, in the tenths spot. So explain how we can write 2 tenths as hundredths, okay? Well, we can do what we did before there. 0 0.2 is 2 tenths, or 2 tenths, written as a fraction right here. Here's 2 tenths. So I can take this and multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. That way it gets me 100 downstairs. So when I multiply 2 times 10, it gets me 20 upstairs. So it's the same as 20 hundredths. So um, uh, you can write 20 hundredths as the equivalent decimal representation is 20 hundredths right here. Notice the zero ends in the hundredths. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, Sierra and her dog collected. Uh, now, how are you going to say this, you guys? How are we going to say this? Okay. Hopefully, you guys can recognize that ends in the hundredths. So she collected 30 hundredths liter of water in a bucket during a rainstorm. So how many tenths of a liter did uh, they collect uh, together? Okay. So uh, e uh, equivalent decimals are decimals that name the same amount. So we can write. Uh, 30, this says right here again, we can write 30 hundredths as a decimal that names it in tenths. So instead of multiplying, what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to go ahead and write it here. So show 30 uh, hundredths in your place value chart right here. So 0 0.30 is going to go right there. Okay. And then uh, there's no hundredths in this in tenths. So what we're going to do is take off that hundredths right there. So it's going to be 0 0.3 tenths. Okay, so 0.3 is, is uh, so, so uh, 0 0.30 or 31 hundredths is equivalent to how many tenths? This many tenths right here, three tenths, okay? And so we can write uh, 30 hundredths as uh, 0.3 or, or three tenths right there, okay? Because 30, uh, 30 hundredths, that's what this says with that zero right there. This says 30, because don't you see the number 30 right there? And it ends in the hundred spot, 30 hundredths is equivalent to 3 tenths, because 3 is in the tenth spot. So 30 hundredths is uh, uh, equivalent to 3 tenths. That's what this says right there. Okay? Um, so it just depends. Do they want you to write it in hundredths or in tenths right there? This is in hundredths. This is in tenths. These guys are equivalent statements right there. All right? All right, so another way is to write uh, 30 hundredths as a fraction with a denominator of 10. Okay, so we're going to write 30 hundredths as a fraction. So 30 hundredths is 30 over 100. Okay? is 30 one hundredths, so 30 hundredths is written as a fraction is 30 hundredths right there, okay? So um, what we can do is write 30 hundredths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. So instead of multiplying, we want to get smaller, we're going to divide. So 100, since it's in 100, I want to change it to 10. So 100 divided by what number is going to get me 10? 100 divided by 10 is going to get me 10, but if I divide it by 10 on the bottom, I got to divide by 10 on the top because 10 over 10 equals 1. So when I divide by 1, it won't change. So what's 30 divided by 10? I'm going to put 10 and 10 right there. Okay. So 30 divided by 10 is going to be 3. 10 divided or 100 divided by 10 is a 10. So we already know that right there. How's that? Am I making sense, you guys? Hope so. All right. So um, uh, so Sierra collected. Uh, she collected uh, uh, three tenths, or you can write it like this as a fraction: three tenths liter of water. Okay, it's thirty one hundredths, or three tenths. Okay, uh huh. Uh, here it says thirty one hundredths. This says uh, thirty uh, three tenths. So this ends in the tenth. So three tenths. I hope it's making sense to you guys. 
Hope I'm not talking too much on that. So four teachers at a school have uh, names that begin with the letter A. This represents, okay, how are we going to say this, you guys? 0 0.08. How are we going to say that? Okay, so where's that 8 end? It ends in the hundredths spot. So this represents 8 hundredths of all the teachers. So write 8 hundredths as a fraction. Okay, well, first uh, you can show um, uh, 0 0.08 in the place value chart. So I kind of gave it away. So I'm going to put in 0 0.08 right there. Okay, and then so, so this 8 ends in the hundredths spot right there. So now we're going to go ahead and change it to a fraction right there. So uh, so now we're just going to say it's uh, 8 one hundredths. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. And again, uh, if you get some time, please like and or subscribe. And I hope they're helping you guys. Take care, everybody.